Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is going to be a relaxation slash sleep recording There's going to be two versions, one with sleep, one without, and only listen when you can safely close your eyes, and my stomach will make the occasional alien sound. So I'm just going to talk to you, just going to maybe come up with an idea or two, maybe mention some kind of thought that I might have about relaxing and sleeping. I'm also going to try and stay awake whilst I do it because I'm recording this very early in the morning and I have a tendency of falling asleep at this time so I'm going to try and keep my (laughs) my alertness thing is when I make these recordings I'm actually with you I feel like I am and I'm doing it with you so when I'm talking about feeling relaxed and feeling tired and drifting you know I actually am doing those things I actually am drifting which is fine on a level but not necessarily ideal for when I'm making a recording (laughs) I'm trying to talk so thought I would focus with this recording just on this moment just here just now just us so if I move my body you can hear it and I can hear it just in the same way as if you move your body you'll be able to hear it And that's the moment that we're in. That's now. And you may think, what are you going on about? I know it's now. What, What else could it be? let's be honest how much time do any of us 
really give to the moment? How much focus do we give to right now as opposed to thinking about the future or thinking about the past? And that's not to say that thinking about the future and past are of no use because they're very much very very useful but right now do you need to what do you really need to think about anything If you're honest, what do you need to think about? And I can say to you, you know, let go of the stress in your hands. And your hands start to feel different. in this moment and continue to relax however your hands were already starting to relax I can mention your stomach Just by mentioning your stomach, your focus naturally focuses on your stomach right now. You know how your stomach feels now. This is not a snapshot of various different times of the day or year or decade even of how your stomach felt and it's not another picture book of how your stomach will feel or look in the coming years it's just now you just focus on your stomach it's very simple it's very easy and I could say to you oh, you're, as you focus on your stomach you'll notice maybe a tingling Is that sense of comfort and relaxation increases all across your abdomen area from your belly button down especially your sides the sides of your stomach that part, you know, between your hips and your ribs. Very sort of quite a gentle, quite a soft part. That maybe we don't give too much attention to, but it's being used all the time. You know, every time we turn, every time we walk. Every time we bend, those sides, our sides are being used. So, you know, me focusing on your sides and your stomach. A 
focusing on that sense of relaxation increasing in this moment. was already happening maybe a little bit more slowly but it was already happening your stomach and your sides were already becoming more relaxed maybe feeling sleepier but either way either way you look at it you're focusing on this moment how your stomach feels this moment You weren't remembering times in the past. You weren't remembering times when you felt this way or, you know, how you imagine you're going to feel in your stomach in ten years' time. I mean, that might be useful information if you're going through some kind of transformation physically, you go to the gym maybe, or you plan to go to the gym and you want to get a more flatter, muscular stomach. So yeah, thinking about the future, that body part is, you know, it's, it's actually really, really useful to focus on what you want and to expect it because it's more likely to happen and uh, you know you're sowing seeds into your mind telling yourself what you want and expect but that doesn't have to be done now It doesn't have to be any part of your thinking process when you're focusing on this moment to relax and drift off to sleep. with your stomach or ever any other part of your body you may think back to the past when perhaps you you weren't so well and you had problems there and now you're feeling better and it generates an energy of gratitude which is a beautiful thing and actually increases your happiness increases your level of feeling good about yourself so that's that's all lovely but you don't need that right now unless you do and then go with that but generally when we're focusing just on the moment to relax deeply and sleep deeply we don't really 
need the past or the future to be involved when we're focusing on right now I could say to you if you're lying down in your bed the, the bed is is almost sending an energy into your body melting all the muscles of your body like the hot sun shining on a plate of butter melting that butter melting those muscles and as I said that not only did I visualise the plate of butter melting and then my body melting I noticed my neck, the back of my neck, really relaxed, like really, really relaxed, and my shoulders. It feels nice. And that sense of comfort may actually be where stress was before and now it's gone I'm left with that feeling of relief and comfort so I'm feeling it in my shoulders, my lower back my scalp and my eyes as well and my forehead So it's almost like there's a gap left where that tension used to be and now it's gone I just feel looser However, that feeling of deep relaxation will also occur just by focusing on this moment. Because the things that were keeping the stress alive was me thinking about the past, worrying about the future. And I suppose there's always a you know, if I'm honest, I suppose there's always going to be a a splash of energy required for me to be able to talk and make this recording. So there's there's some activity going on that I wouldn't need if I was just listening to this recording. But even so, I'm finding that
the feeling of relaxation in my mind seems to be more pleasurable than the bodily relaxation. And maybe that's because you can't feel relaxed in your mind without feeling relaxed in your body. The two come together, basically are twins in a sense. And from my own personal experience, I know that when my mind relaxes, like really, really relaxes, I feel it in my eyes, I feel it in my forehead and my scalp maybe my neck, my lower neck, back, back of my neck that is. And just being aware how you feel in your legs in your arms your back your hands and fingers your jaw the shoulders Those feelings are there for you to experience in this moment. Whenever you choose to focus on them, because every new moment is this moment as we move forward progressing learning healing now the natural progression when your body is really, really relaxed. Here's to start to notice that you are becoming of the reduction of things that you are focusing on maybe due to boredom maybe that you're just feeling really good right now you're feeling very positive very calm and it may feel really nice Give yourself 
the gift of allowing yourself to drift off and sleep easily and deeply focus in just on now Focus in on these words you hear me say. As I count down from 20 down to 1, if you choose to allow your body and your mind to let go completely and drift to sleep naturally. Then just follow me as I count down. From 20 down to 1. With every number you give yourself permission. To feel wonderful. Now, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. Eleven.
seven, Mm-hmm. 